Hello, I'm Michaela with Girls Who Code, back with step two of part three and this story time activity. Let's get started. In this step, we'll learn what a Boolean is and add Booleans to our conditionals. By the end of this step, our conditionals will check a statement to determine if it's true or false. Every conditional has a condition or requirement. For example, a condition might be the volume is equal to 11 or the sun is not out. We can test these conditions to see if they are true or false at any given moment in our program. How can we check to see if something is true or false in code? The data type Boolean will help us out. Booleans evaluate to true or false. For example, the statement, the user typed in upstairs. That can either be a true or false statement. For an action in a conditional to run, the Boolean must be true. Let's take a quick look at our flowchart again. The program will run the first true statement. That means if the first if statement is true, it will not read the rest of the conditional statement. If it's false, it will check that else if to see if that is true. Then we can end with an else, which will run if everything else is false. We can use comparison operators like the greater than symbol to compare two values. We'll be focusing on the double equal sign or the equal to operator. The double equal sign is comparing to see if the values on both sides are equal to each other. This is different from the single equal sign we use for our variable. We use one equal sign to set the value of a variable. Here you actually change the variable value. When comparing, spelling, capitalization, and spacing matters. So for example, upstairs, all lowercase, is not equal to capital U upstairs. While our human brains might think of these as the same, the computer will see these as two different strings. The Boolean would be false. Let's take a look at our code and write our conditions using Boolean statements. To review, we are taking user input and storing it into the variable floor. The user should type in either upstairs or downstairs. First, we want to check if floor is equal to upstairs. After the if statement, but before the colon, we will add a space and type the name of the variable floor, double equal sign, and quotes upstairs to see if the user typed in the string upstairs. That is our first condition. What do you think the second Boolean statement for the next condition is? Take a moment to think about it. We already checked for upstairs, so now we'll check for downstairs. After LF, type in floor, double equal sign, quotes, downstairs to check if the reader typed in the string downstairs. Our else statement does not need a Boolean and is fine as is. When we run our code, we still run into an error because it is expecting the action it should take when the Boolean is true. We will add this in the next step. That's it for step two. In the next step, we'll finish writing our conditional by adding what should happen if each condition is met.